Our latest investigation is one of the most fascinating stories we've yet to encounter. Ten years ago, when he was just two years old, James Leininger had an unusual affinity for airplanes and exhibited strange behavior that led his parents to the remarkable conclusion that their son was the reincarnated soul of James Houston Jr., a pilot killed in action over the Pacific in World War II. Today, Andrea and I are visiting the Aviation Museum in Virginia Beach, Virginia, to meet with Charles Bobby O'Brien. We're hoping he might give us some insight regarding this remarkable home video of young James at an air show. Is his behavior in the video typical of a young boy fascinated by planes? Or is it that of a seasoned pilot conducting a pre-flight check? What would you do if you wanted to do a pre-flight check on this plane? I'd get in the cockpit or look in the cockpit, make sure all the switches were off. I would then come on down, walk in a clockwise direction around the airplane, make sure that there's no, no damage to the airplane, make sure there's nothing loose and that everything uh, moves freely, make sure that no leaks, everything looks clean. Make sure that there's no foreign objects in here, like somebody left a screwdriver or a wrench or a rag. When I asked Obi to go through a pre-flight check with me in the Corsair, he went through a lot of detailed behaviors. And a lot of these I didn't see in the video of, of little James. So this is a video of James at an air show. Without me telling you anything about what I think is going on, I just want you to look at the behavior of the child and tell me if you just tell me what you think. Okay. Without any more detail than that. Probably, that's where the fuel would be, the fuel tank. And when early uh, on a plane like this, you would drain it, get a little fuel out, and make sure that it's that doesn't, doesn't have, have water. Any. Comes back. Counterclockwise. And counterclockwise. Yeah. So, does this behavior seem typical of the way a child would explore a plane? I've seen uh, children explore an airplane like that before. You have? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Around the same age? Around, around the same age, yes. They're very curious about every little thing, and they'll ask you a thousand questions. Overall, my impression is that for every behavior that James, the little boy, showed that seemed typical of a World War II pilot, there's another behavior that's atypical. So, for example, although James III, J little James, does salute, he salutes with his left hand. And as Obi pointed out, that never happened. In addition, although James uh, did walk around the plane starting out clockwise, he very quickly went back counterclockwise. That video doesn't support the reincarnation theory, but it doesn't debunk it either. It's, I mean, it's ultimately, it's a neutral effect. I guess I'm pretty much in the same place, a little more uncertain. 